Um, first thing is finding it on the map. You can do a search using the little search icon um, with either a postcode or a um, um, OS grid reference. Um, there we, we and you can also have different mapping. I've used the general ordnance survey mapping here because I think it's nice and clear and I'm quite old fashioned um, and found my fuse works in Red Ruth and clicked on it. And then I just click OK as soon as that this is this is as simple as that. Just finding it on the map and clicking OK just to start the process rolling. And there's different mapping showing how you can sort of use that perhaps as a bit of a tool. Then this screen comes up um asking you to sort of name um the building say what it is and give the address the postcode isn't essential because it'll automatically give a grid of reference and geolocate it so house numbers are going to be really really useful to help identify it if you've got that if it's a, a property otherwise you know if it's in the middle of a field you know maybe just as much description as you can so i filled in it's called chumbler house it was the Vauxhall fuse factory um, you've got a choice of different asset types and we've divided it up into buildings, parks and gardens, landmarks, artworks or wayfinders, and others. So things like archeology span might come in the others. So it's a matter of clicking next page, just go through it. Hopefully it's quite intuitive, the process, and there's bits of guidance as well. So if you clicked on the little question marks, it tells you a bit more about those. Then it's asking you for a bit of description. And um, we've suggested primarily for buildings and parks and gardens um, a, a little bit of a prompt at the bottom there. You don't have to use that. It's not essential as long as you have a really good go at describing it. So I've said it's uh, ruined buildings um, associated with the Vauxhall Fuse Works, um, later used offices Red Ruth Brewery, um, and said it's really, really important due to association with developments of mining and the outstanding universe value of the College Mining World Heritage Site. So clicking yes to that gives you this. Um, and I think this is why I wouldn't get too hung up about putting huge amounts of information necessarily in the description, although as much as you can is really, really useful. You'll see here, if you look next to the text, there's a little box. So next to architectural and artistic value, there's a little box. And when you click in that, um, it'll give you a prompt. So for asset type, I put in building. There's guidance on the right hand side, which tells you more about what to do. If you have any questions about what to do, it will give you some guidance. Um, and the key things here are the asset type, the age, architectural interest, historic interest and archaeological interest. If it doesn't have group value or it doesn't have landmark status or rarity, don't worry too much. Um, just put in as much as you can on each of those things. And the really good thing about the process we've got is if you find something which you know is of value, but perhaps you don't know everything, the process allows people to edit what you've put forward. So if someone comes forward and thinks, well, actually, I know a lot about that building, they can edit things and sort of add more information, which is really, really useful. So we've done all that and we're going to go into the next page. So really important, I found it today, to use these tabs at the bottom not the tabs that you get in the in the control bar for um, whatever um, browser you're using, because if you click back in your browser, it will delete everything you've just done. So don't do what I did. Click on the bottom tabs here. Then you can upload photographs. You can upload four photographs at a time. And I had a bit of an experiment. and I think you can actually load upload more than that, but you can't do it. You have to do it in batches of four. But I'll we'll double check on that just to see because I have only managed to upload five so far, so it might be worth a little bit of explore. It's a matter of um, um, accepting term, con terms and conditions for the photographs and then clicking upload and then it'll come forward. Um, it might not just be photographs. Say, for example, you've got some photographs of some deeds for a building that could just be a, a, as interesting as a historic photograph or a current photograph of a building. And there'll be some guidance coming out for photographs about sort of the kind of things we're looking for in terms of taking photographs, but basically as clear as possible um, of, of the, the building. So if you really want to do a good job, you might think, well, actually, I might wait till the afternoon till the sun's in the right direction and um, make sure there's no, what, no, no sort of buses and things outside. So you've got a good view, that sort of thing. But I think you know, with smartphones these days, I think most people are really, really good at taking photographs. So. There will be um, um, more guidance on that if anyone needs it. So then clicking next page on there is the same as submitting it essentially. 
So here, here it says that we've got um, Voxel Fuse Factory and it tells you, lists all the things you've done. One thing to remember here is it's just actually, once you've done that, it's only in your list of things. You need to click Submit for Review here, which probably needs to be a big red button. So draw people's attention to it, but that's really, really important that you need to click Submit for Review. Um, so if you've got um, the website open at the moment, it's worth having a look and maybe doing a an asset as you go along um, and having a go at that just to make sure. So do remember that. So if, it, if, if you're worried it hasn't gone anywhere, go back to one of your submissions and double check that that's been put forward because that's how it goes through different stages. It'll, once it's been put forward for review, then it would be um, considered by us um, whether it meets the criteria before being published.